Hello, this is Jill. And hey, has this ever happened to you? Uh, you're all set to clean your carpet or rug or vacuum it actually. And you plug in your vacuum cleaner. This one's an Auric XL. And it starts sucking, but it really not clean that well. And so you open up the uh, bag and replace the bag in there. And uh, it's, it seems like it's still working, but it's just not cleaning the floor. Well, I'm going to show you something you could check before you throw your old vacuum away. Okay, so we plugged it in right here, and I'll kind of, the switch is right here, and I'll show you that it is indeed working. It's sucking, the lights are working, the, ba the bag seems to be inflating, but it's just not really working that well. Well, let me turn this over, and I'll show you what the problem is. So I turned it over so you could see the brushes here, and you could see the problem right away. Uh, looks like somebody's been dealing with a lot of glitter string, and, and it's just tied itself around here. Now I'm going to turn it on really briefly and show you what's going on with this string. Okay, so walk on to the other side and go ahead and turn the power on. see what's happening the strings actually kind of bunched up and is not allowing this brush to properly move and so you're getting suction but the cleaning action of this brush is just not happening okay so I'll show you how to kind of clean this out you could either just take some scissors and start kind of trimming all this uh, string out of here as best you can and that commonly works you usually don't have to open anything up you just sort of cut some of the string and like that and it eventually kind of works its way out and you can kind of pull it out like this and eventually get it nice and clean but if you're if you have a Phillips screwdriver usually it's the Phillips you can actually take this back case out and if you see you get a Phillips screwdriver here 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 uh, all of them are a little bit different but if you're a little adventurous you probably want to do this uh, learn how to do this anyway because the belt's gone here but uh, a lot of times you could replace the belt when it gets bad. Also, quite often when you have this issue and the, uh, uh, and the brush is not moving, usually the motor's working as well, especially if there's suction. And you could actually damage the belt. And hopefully this belt is not damaged, but we'll see once we open this up. So that's one. Two, it looks like this might be five of them. And I'm just loosening them up. I'm not taking them out here. Oops. Let's not lose that. And again, you could try your best to cut these out. And usually quite often that works without removing this, this bottom plate here. But I just kind of want to show you what it looks like underneath. I think I got them all loose and I'm just going to lift it like this so I don't lose any screws and there you go and this is what the inside of uh, a lot of vacuums uh, look like sometimes if you just have a separate uh, vacuum from the head it, it doesn't exactly look like this but it's very common that it looks like that you got the motor here you got the brush and the brush can actually slip out you could kind of just remove it like here and here's the belt and the belt's not in the best shape it's a little cracked I should probably remove that but if you turn it upside down and kind of inspect the belt you can kind of see it in here hopefully you don't have any burn marks and this one has slight burn marks so I think this belt needs to be replaced but it's still kind of working and but um, but it's just the string that is preventing it from kind of rotating so we're just gonna I'm actually gonna just take this whole thing out and you can kind of see how it sl slips out there just like that and kind of examine this belt more closely but with this out I could really get in here and, and kind of clip all this um, uh, string free and we'll clean this out and see what we uh, see if it works uh, when we get back now as I'm cutting you can kind of see the bulk of the problem. The string is really attached here where it rotates and it's kind of creating a little more frictional 
of resistance right here and this is probably a large part of the problem so you have to really try to get this stuff out of this corner here to make this this uh, move freely and look at all the material I got out of that that's just garbage that's preventing it from spinning and it's spinning much better if I had a little bit of it's a little rough on this side it's much smoother on this side now if I had a little bit of graphite I could uh, perhaps add a little graphite to uh, these little wheels here to see if it'll slide a little bit better um, you don't want to use oil or WD-40 because that could get on your carpet or rug but we'll go ahead and replace this and see if it will run better so before I put this back in I'm gonna examine this belt a little closer and you just kinda wiggle the belt out here usually there's a little more space to get this belt out there we go and you can see it's not really in the best shape and so I should and you can see right here look at that very much cracked up and that's uh, a lot of the damage that's happening as a result of that spinning it pretty much burnt here since the belt since this couldn't spin it basically burnt this part of the belt and that's the problem with a lot of the string and so yes indeed I will have to replace this belt I took it out and you can kind of see how I did that but before I do this I'm just gonna put this back in and see if I can actually get this working again since it's actually moving a lot freer and okay so we kind of put it up like this the teeth were up like that and we just kind of slide it in all the way down to put the belt on you just get around this little motor arm here and then you kind of want to um, rather than take this out and force it in you can kind of like set it kind of like this and then just kind of rotate it around like that and it should kind of sit in place just like that and we'll go ahead and put the lid back on and uh, see how it runs okay so we got the plate back on and we'll go ahead and turn it on and see if it'll spin a little bit better and no it doesn't it is the belt that's given all the problems that is a result of this string burning the belt so I'm gonna have to replace the belt and see if we can do a better job all right, so we have it opened up again, and I did go ahead and purchase a couple of belts. Actually, this was on Amazon. I think it was either 6 or $7 for two of them, so I will have a spare. Uh, but let's first get this belt out of here again. See if we can just rotate it off again. There we go. And take it out. Work it out. And again, this is garbage, so we'll throw that away. place a new belt and you can see how the new belts look here nice and brand new and this was I uh, size it for the Auric uh, XL and you can see it's a little stiffer than before and so you just want to put it on just like that and kind of rotate it around there we go. and there you go it's on just kind of rotate it until it's all good and we'll go ahead and shut it, sh shut the case up and uh, actually I have this spare here so I'll actually put the spare right here for later use and it should be working fine after we get this back together okay so we got it all back together again and let's see if it runs this time much better wonderful so we got it all cleaned up we replaced the belt we actually got a little spare and so we should be set. I hope this video helped out, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.